Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, I'm going to cover the color bar and histogram in the examine panel. I'm going to first select the block and go to examine and select a metric, in this case maximum included angle. And to see things more clearly, I'm going to enable a cut plane. Now we can actually see the cells being rendered by their maximum included angle and a color that is associated with the color bar that you can see here. Now this color bar we can resize, we can pull it around anywhere in the scene, take images uh, for reports, etc. Now in the color bar frame you have several options. The first thing you can do is change the color bar type, basically the colors that are displayed from spectrum to full spectrum, modern, red, blue, and grayscale. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the default which is spectrum. You can also change the order or reverse the color bar. So if I click this button, you'll notice that the colors in the cut plane also change because they are directly related to those in the color bar. So I can reverse the color bar if I wish. The maximum and minimum values, as their name suggests, are the maximum and minimum values of the metric that you're looking at. In this case, our max included angle for this mesh, not just the cut plane, but the entire mesh is 169 degrees, and the minimum is 70.67 degrees. That's the default. I can use the green arrows to toggle those up and down. I could also type in a value. In this case, I can type in, say, 160 degrees. And because in the show cells frame, above max has been toggled on, if I zoom in here, you can see some cells that are being shown in red. Those are the elements that have a maximum included angle greater than the max that I've specified. In this case, a maximum value greater than 160 degrees, which is great because I can go and identify those cells directly. One of the really nice things about the color bar is enabling the histogram. So in the histogram frame, I can click show histogram, and now you get a really good snapshot of what the quality looks like and the distribution of the quality looks like for the entire mesh. And I can see that the bulk of my elements have really good included angles. I can change the number of levels in that histogram to get finer grain control over that view. In this case, we'll change it to 20, and you can see that. I'll go back and change it to 10. We can also export the histogram to a CSV file. But one of the nice things is if I have my max value here set to 160 degrees, this number at the top basically represents the number of elements that have an angle greater than 160 degrees, which is really nice to be able to see that. So if you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.